Wait, so kind of now. Uh, now, I know they changed the date. This was supposed to happen tomorrow, but tomorrow's 9-11. It's too late for fixing that now. If Dokkan fumbles this, this will be the Dokkan 9-11. This will be a can event at this point if they mess it up. Sure, it's technically 9-10 today, but tomorrow's 9-11. They changed it last second yesterday, so it wouldn't air on 9-11 in the Americas. It's too late. It's too late. Damage has already been done. This could be the 9-11 of Dokkan, and there's nothing they're going to do about it. And it's already, honestly, pretty bad, given the fact that, <laughs> um, so far, this part one, it's pretty ass. It's pretty ass. This isn't even speaking for me, who hasn't gone any of the new units yet, but just even if I did get, let's say, Broly and the trios extremely easily, which I didn't, I just don't have either yet, but assuming that I did, there's nothing to do. Only one easy A, actually two, because Broly was the, the OG LR tech Broly was a countdown easy A, so two easy A's. He had put the game like four to five last year by this point. It's just not, it, it, yeah, enough said, honestly, enough said. Are you entering the ongoing worldwide celebration, TPP showdown campaign? No. Okay, I, I opened Twitter, so unfortunately I do know it's going to be second bully movie. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's going to be Gohan and Bully for part two. I do know that, I think, because of the movie that got spoiled. I do know that. But I am interested in seeing what to do. Okay, a Team Gohan and a Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Okay. Nice OST though. I'm assuming the boy is gonna be Carnival. No, Broly's gonna be Dokkan Fest, and then Gohan's gonna be Carnival. Okay. I don't doubt. I doubt they're both gonna be Carnival. That'd be stupid. Bully. Okay, cool. That would have been a fumble if both of the bullies were carnivals. That would have been such a fumble. Ooh. It could be saved if the domain start a battle. Okay, that's cool. That's a cool intro. So far, animations look good. Okay, okay, I fuck with it. Oh, uh, it's not... Is it? Okay, this is an eating key, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, looks everything looks good so far. So the domain is start of battle, because they didn't play a domain animation. That's amazing, actually. That's amazing if the domain start of battle. Extreme int's good, I think. Yeah, int's good. His leader skill can raise... Power, revenge, planetary or destruction, movie bosses, transformation boost, pure Saiyan. I think that should be good. It's limited, but it has very good characters. One turn. And deal colossal damage with a high chance of so massively raises his ultra super onto 12 key, can massively and then it has a 50% chance to raise it additionally by 30%. That thing's insane. What the fuck is, is this Bible? I mean, this because what is this Bible? Excuse me, okay, 40% defense. Machine class allies, and for four turns, some sort of turn, 260%, 60% damage reduction. 
but additional attack 100% when receiving attack, 2 key, and so it's 2% of HP per type key to obtain, that's very good. Water the main molten lava of Nata, Nata Village is active, changes key sphere of certain type to SGR. Okay, I need to go back and read that. Massive raises attack. When there is a uh, Ooh. Hmm. What is this? And he has a revival, okay. So you get to revive with the act with the domain active, okay. Okay, that's cool. That's f fucking cool. But I need to go back to the rest of the kit because I could not fucking read that. I need to go back and reread the kit because so far it looks pretty good. The domain's effect, it raises uncontrollable power category allies and enemies a 15%, which that's a good domain. Is by 10% if they belong to the movie heroes category. That's a good domain. Into strength, attack effective all types as a battle when the character performs attack while the domain is active. The domain okay, is active, his I just said that you don't need to say it, but I'm gonna mute this again. Um. Starting from the fifth turn from the character's entry turn, revives at 60% HP when the character or an ally. Th okay. So it's a turn 5 team wide protection ability. Oh, wow. Plus additional 60% defense when receiving an attack after the character's revival skill is activated. She uses physical key spheres for enemy spheres and uncontrollable power out of English. Uncontrollable power allies. 60% to stats at the start of the turn, starting after the turn in which the character's revival skill is activated. That's pretty insane. Alright. Does he have crit? I don't think he has critical anywhere. So, my head? I don't think dodge is the way you want to go. Because you're gonna have this tech bully, you're gonna have Phil Max, you're gonna have the EZA tech bully, you have AGO bully. Yeah, 60% damage reduction, and he, from what I understand, he massively raises on both 12 and 18 keys. So that's being critical and additional, and then the rest can be put into like 5 3 dodge and then defense, maybe. Okay, now this is Gohan. Uh, I'm not a fan of Gohan so far. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Did he just use Vegeta's final explosion? <laughs> what? what? Super STR. What does he lead? That's a question. And his leader skill raises Kamehameha category allies stats by Kamehameha 200%. That's insane. That's like one of the. That's an insane leader skill. Oh, they fucked up the chance. Okay. Deals colossal damage and has a high chance of his defense. For okay, I'm gonna go. They fucked up this up. Hold on. Uh, Great Lakes attack and defense for one turn, colossal damage, highest chance of stun, and then Great Lakes attack defense for one turn, mega colossal damage, raises super class ice defense by 50% for one turn. Okay, good super attack effect. They fucked it up. Okay, 5 key, 200%, plus additional 2 key, 40%, up to 200%, and defense plus 30, which is attack performed. 
Could he be stack key? It seems like it, because there's no limit on that, right? He might stack key, like the year eight. 77% when within the same turn, which each super attack performed, launches an initial super attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. That's, uh, wait, 18, he's 18 no more. When keeps 24, initial 58% attack and launches this super attack. And HP is 77% or more. Attacks effective all, all types. When is it? Come on, Earth Fighter, Category Allen, turn. Because the additional two key and guard, HP is 77% or less when receiving an attack. High chance of being keep aiming super attack, including. Okay. I need to break it down a little bit more, but this looks good. So he gets a, a shit ton of attack when you're in safe territory, but once things start to get a little bit dangerous, which is probably going to be the later stage of a fight, he's going to have guard. Active. Um. So I think dodge would definitely be good. God, I think dodge an additional. Cause when his guard isn't activated, I feel like he could probably get caught. Cause otherwise he has no defensive mechanics, no guard, no damage reduction. Guard is only when you below seventy seven percent. I think dodge additional. Cause he already has to perfect it against all types. Okay, active skill, here it goes. It's standby, okay, it's standby. Okay, that's not terrible. So, second appearance, basically. Same by for five turns in which seven Dragon Balls appear. Cut charge count increases by one per key skill by allies. Additional four per Dragon Ball team by allies. Okay, that's that's why they include the Dragon Balls in the thing. Okay, hold on. So you're gonna they're gonna make it so you want to um that you get the Dragon Balls because otherwise I don't think it'd be possible. Oh, they're all in the field at once. So how do they work? Let's see what these animations are. This is obviously gonna be the field one. This is gonna be the failure. This is what's gonna be go ten. And then here comes Goku. Okay, that's sick. This is gonna be sick. Okay, they cook with this. Ah, oh, that's sick. Oh, that's nice. Into the sun you go, motherfucker. Into the sun you go. How are they? I feel might have expected oh, that was nice. Ooh. The character's attack so even when you get all seven Dragon Balls, you won't immediately get the Kamehame, family Kamehameha. Hmm. Okay. Lastly, family Kamehameha can be effective against all types. Okay, that's gonna hit like an atomic truck. That's gonna hit like a fucking nuclear bomb. Oh my god. Holy shit. That's all for the finish effect. Last but not least, let's talk about his ability. 
That's gonna hit so hard. He cannot attack unless launching a finish attack, but he can guard all attacks. Ad additional 77% attack per superclass ally in the turn. Defense plus fifty percent when taking attack for key sphere and then guard. Okay, he he's not gonna take damage. Even if for some reason everybody is a super class, that fifty percent defense multiplication buff plus the guard will be enough. It'll be enough. Even without the damage reduction. The thirteenth. So it'll be the twelfth for me, okay. Regarding the unification with the Japanese version, the conditions for the number of rewards Okay, we already know about this. From... Okay, so no easy A's announced. That sucks. But let me go back and look at Broly real quick. Let me break down Broly and then we go to Gohan. So... Good categories, first off. Beyond Super Saiyan, come back, Link's Dream Existence, Inhuman Deeks, Flying Rage, Talking Goku, Full Power, Resurrected Warriors, Super Saiyan, Transformation Boost, Movie Boss, Penetrate Destruction, Revenge, Uncontrollable Power. Oh, God, that's a mouthful. Um, so, Uncontrollable Power. It said Revenge and Planetary Destruction. Revenge is shitty, so that's basically null and void. And then, uh, Planetary Destruction is good. And the extra is pure Saiyan. I think it's in movie bosses and transformation boost. Okay. Those are good subcategories. And okay, you got Golden Freezer. You know, probably not gonna want Orange Orange Piccolo, because he'll get fucked by the main a lot. You got Bully, Bully, Cell Max, Fuhan, Tolis, Tech Bully, Easy A. You could super easy A. Golden Freezer, who would have gone. Janemba could easy A sometime in the near future, so I don't. I could see that happening maybe. If Janemba easy A's in time. Because he's on the 200%, if I'm right. I swear I saw him earlier. I swear. I, yeah, there he is. So, yeah, Janemba. If Janemba easy A's sometime in the future, definitely could run him. And that's gonna be it. Okay, what about other base units? Uh, uncontrollable power. Uh, no, we're not gonna run them. Exchange boo is gonna be good. Tech Android, Sand, that active is always gonna be good. Tech Janimba could easily in the future. Um, but I don't think it, okay. Oh, you have missed a good boo. You have you have fucking fat boo on this That's such an insane character to have on this team. Oh Wow, that's a good that's a good character to have uh, You could super easy a during the celebration Very easily you could super easy a um, But I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, that's that's it no one else so, Bully's team, I don't need to look at the other stuff to know Bully's team is going to be absolutely insane. It's just that you need to have the proper characters. And if you do, it's very good. And then, this, I don't think people understand how insane the super attack effect is. Massive, with a massive multiplier for attack, is insane. So, you can get 200% attack with this, right here. And then if you get any additionals, you get an additional 100%. I think this is the same for... Uh, where would I want to go for this? Um... Universal Survival Saga. Right here. Um, um, you. I think you get... Yeah, okay, so... You understand how busted these guys are, right? This is a very, very good easy A. This guy gets massive for one turn. They don't. They do greatly. And then this guy gets massive on the 12 key for both attack and defense. And then they can get an additional 30%. On the 12 key. This guy doesn't get fucking defense on the 12 key. 
and they still fucking eat insane amounts of damage from super attack. They still eat those super attacks. It's still a fucking tank. This bully has stacking, not stacking, but he massively raises on 12 key and 18 key and has 60% damage reduction. These guys right here, they get what? Hold on. I think they get a massive for like 50%-ish. Super truck outside. 50% for turn one. 17% with each attack performed. So they get 17. So that's one, two, three. Possibly four. So they get up to 7% damage reduction. In a turn. 68 by minus 70. This guy has 60% flat out. And he gets the 12 key multiple, and he gets a massive, which is kind of buffs. Oh my god, he's gonna be fucking insane. Attack when, it's, when you see when, it's, when attacking, that's gonna help a lot with his damage. Attack defense plus 2, attention plus 60%, that's good. 40% support for extreme class eyes for 4 turns, for 3. He is the main active. He changes key spheres to STR. I don't know why they just wouldn't make it int, honestly. If he's extreme int. But that doesn't make any sense to me why they make it STR if he's int. Um he gets guaranteed to protect effective against all types. Once the activate the main for the battle. Cool. And then once five times has elapsed. He protects the entire fucking team with a revive. So let's say you don't have fucking Fat Boo over here for some reason. Or maybe Hurricane decides not fucking dodge. God damn it, fraud ass motherfucker. Um, this bully will revive. Just wait, turn five. And actually, no, it's not the battle, it's start of turn. So if you get fucked on the rotations, that might be an issue, but just. Existing for five turns and you get a revive is pretty damn good Especially when you get into late game with these bosses with how hard they hit that's pretty good And then you don't even do revive with this bully if the other bully revives And they they still get this buff for uncontrollable power And the active again, let me go back to it Um Good, good family category enemy, or when all allies in the turn are of controllable power. So you do want to run majority of uncontrollable power. So we, that's not very hard, honestly. Broly, 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 so Max, uh, where are you? Uh, fucking super easy, a, another Broly. Fat, you have good boo, exchange boo, boo Han. You could super easy A, so another Broly on the team. <laughs> it's not, it won't be hard to get multiple uncontrollable power allies in the turn. Even then, I don't think it's a make or break not getting the active, because all you, you, sure, you buff the whole team with the uh, domain. But it's not a priority to get this domain. It's not a priority. Um. What is it? Uncontrollable power, 50%. Super class. Yeah, it's not a priority. It's very good, but it's not a priority to get this thing. Because all you get is the support. And super effective against all types as a battle. Which isn't the biggest of deals. I mean, it's impactful, but you don't need to prioritize this boy, if that makes sense. If I'm, if I'm saying it makes sense, you know? So you can still... Okay, let's say you are able to get the active skill immediately. I will just let it rip immediately. I will just immediately, the first chance I get, pop this active. Let's say you're running this specific team with uh, double Dark on Fest bull this Z bully, and you can specify now, with double Z bully leader skill. Immediately, if you can, as soon as possible, pop the active skill 
Get the super effective against all types. Get the domain support for the entire team while this extra 40% is active for 4 turns. And then once turn 5 comes around, you can then just pop a Geo Bullies active still. That's how it, that's how I would do it. That's that's my game plan if I were to use this bully. But in terms of like conf this bully is nice to have. He isn't game changing if that makes sense. I think you'd want to run him instead of the easy A tech bully, honestly. But like he's still he's still fucking um, he's he's still nuts. He is absolutely nuts. And then let me look at Gohan now. Um, see, so said the STR greatly raises, has chance stun, greatly raises, but colossal, and raises super class eyes defense by 50% for one turn. So you, do, you can slot one in, and then Kamehameha 200%. Um, so I think you have Kamehameha if I'm right, because you do the thingy. Yep. I need to, uh, you guys to understand how good. Kamehameha is for 200%. This guy, when he came out, was alone like the best leader skill in the game. Because Kamehameha, it was just fucking... Literally, anyone who used it... Well, at least not used it, but had the super attack, attack English. Fucking... If they had a super attack with Kamehameha in the name, they were in the category. That included villains, that included all the Gokus... For the most part, for the most part, go on. For the most part, go tens. If they had a Kamehameha and the super attack name, they were on this category. And it was fucking insane. And he, for a long time, until this guy aged out, had like the best leader skill in the game. Now, look, let me, let, let me, let me run this down for you. You got fucking MUI. You got tech UI. You got, uh, eh, probably not, honestly. Without the support, it's TRUI. You got the Super Saiyan trio. You got you who will easy a you who is fucking insane. You could be ran, I guess, even though in the Majin Buu saga. You're still insane. Literally, any good Goku, Gohan, Goten, or anyone that used a Kamehameha in the past year is on this fucking category. This is an insane fucking category to have a 200% for. Fucking God Goku. Uh, Buhan's on here, even though you probably don't want to run him on the team. You can run him if you need to. World Tournament Goku, for some reason, if you want to run him. Roshi's on here. That's actually... Wait. Hold on. Roshi's on here? I mean, Gohan's not going to be on the... Total School team. Let me see here. He's not gonna be on total. Yeah, he's not gonna be on total school. And Roshi needs total school, right? Two more total school allies in the team. That'd be fine. So it's, he just provides the support and the initial super attack of the two. You can definitely run Roshi on his team. You can absolutely run Roshi. Roshi would be an insane unit to run on this team. Um. Who would have got Dragon Fist? Maybe you could run. I don't think you're gonna run past the power of Goku. Um, easy A Goku Black needs movie bosses, so no. You could easy A in the near future when they revisit Blue Saga. But yeah, Kamehameha is like a timeless fucking category that will only get better as time goes on. This is insane, two hundred percent to have. Okay, let me look. Let me look back at. Uh, his actual passive. So, 5 key, 200%, 2 key, 40%, and defense. So, he gets up to additional 150% defense and 200% attack with each attack performed. So, the 3 attacks, he gets max defense. Okay, that's not bad. And then he gets additional attack per attack performed in return. Launches additional attack. With 18 key, 24 key. Launch edition super attack. He needs coming how many how uh, to fighters on a turn to get the guard. And okay. I'm assuming this high chance to dodge is included in the HP restriction. I mean that's what I'm gonna assume from the wording. 
Because it's not separated by uh, semicolons. So I'm assuming this is linked to the HP and category limitation. Uh, Earthbird Fighters isn't a hard category to get on a team. I mean, yeah, this is an insane category. That's not going to be hard to get. Um, I think this Gohan is going to be very... I think this is just honestly just a power grabs version of the Gammas. I think this is just a hybrid Saiyan version of the Gammas. That's how I see this, honestly. Because turn one, he shows up. You're going to do your three attacks. He's going to be fully built up. And then turn three... What is it? He's going to enter a standby. Because starting from the third entry turn, so basically... Nest appearance. This is basically it starting from nest appearance. This is what this third turn restriction is. Because turn one, you show up. Turn two, turn three, you next show up again. And then now you can use your active. And go into standby. Or HP restriction. So let's say you get rocked turn one. Turn two, you come back. Uh, now let's say you get turn one rocked really bad. You show up turn two with this guy. And then you just pop it. Immediately. You don't need to mess with the bullshit of getting the second appearance. You don't need to build up your stats. You can just pop it immediately. Now, my biggest worry is this. One. Is that a lot of his kit is restricted to having an HP requirement. So, if you're not above 18... Uh, 77%... Yeah, English. 77% or more, you get the super effective against all types and additional attack, which makes sense. I saw a battle is when you, this guy is gonna basically turn one and turn two. This guy is gonna be above 77%. So we get this extra attack buff. And a super effective will hit will be very helpful. But once you use the standby skill after you activate that in the last stages of the fight, you're probably gonna be below 77%. But if you don't get that guard for some reason. This Gohan's a liability. He will be a liability. Because he has no other defensive mechanics. Um, and then... 5 turns standby. Which is good. But my thing about the standby is... If you look here... Where's the fucking Dragon Balls? Okay, here's... Here's what I mean. Let me pause it on the good frame. So, look how these Dragon Balls are distributed. It's not like, oh... It changes the key sphere to a Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball, uh, the key sphere has a Dragon Ball on it. So look at this. You have one here. You have one here. You have one here. Here, 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 here. Is it gonna be a pain in the ass? To you're gonna have to go out your way to get the Dragon Balls. You have to physically go out your way. So in those five turns, you might have to fuck yourself over with key spheres regarding your key. In order to get all seven Dragon Balls. Because if you don't get all seven Dragon Balls. If you don't get the max key. You're fucked. You are fucked. Because the standby is basically wet paper. Unless you get it. And unless you get crit. Because. This is insane. Me go to a standby character. Um. Fucking. I think the best standby right now in the game. It's probably going to be, um, these guys. Let me see. Uh, I don't need any more. Standby. This guy's standby is insane. You realize how, like, you know, this is not very powerful. 20% per charge. And then he gets, what's it called? Um, uh, what am I looking for? They attack multiple kitchen buffs. And he, the reason you see a lot of crit builds on this guy is one, he doesn't have any built in crit. And then two, if he gets a crit on this, the boss is basically going to be almost, if not dead. Like, that is at least going to do half of the fucking health bar if this punch crits. 
Super effective against all types is almost the same thing. 20% super effective against all types. Like, I don't know who is not going to survive. Who is going to survive that? Who? Additional dodge, additional is the way to go. 1 million percent. And then he gets more attack per attack ally, for, for super class ally in the turn. So, what's that? Um, fucking... He gets up to 231%. Where to fucking go? God damn it. Um... And then this is 258%. There's Goku. 20. 259. Plus 100%. Go Not only is this Gohan going to hit harder. Just straight out. Because of um, stats itself. But it's super effective against all types. This is such a big deal. But again, the issue with this is that let me see. It's the Dragon Balls. It's the fucking Dragon Balls. That's going to cause so many issues for this character. Not for the character, but for the whole team. Since you need to go out your way to get those Dragon Balls. If you don't, you're basically throwing. But if you fuck over yourself with the Key Spheres, well, shit. <laughs> where the fucking Dragon Balls at? What? Where are they? Like, for example, you collect these AGO ones. You have to collect this physical one. So let's say these are all LRs down here. You're ba you're basically going out your way to not get 18 key super fat super attacks if you don't already have them by grabbing this physical key sphere or this STR key sphere right here or that tech one. You could get lucky, but it could also fuck you over bad when you have to dra purposely grab Dragon Balls. And, I mean, five turns is a lot of time. So you could fall out. Maybe. But I'm just saying the possibility that the Dragon Balls, if you go for them, they could fuck you over. Um. Um, actually, hold on. Is he on Beast Gohan team? Um. Uh, superheroes, obviously not. Master Disciple. No. Um. Miraculous Awakening. He's not on a Beast Gohan team. This shows some categories. Kamen Riha, Hybrid, Movie Hero, Sleeping Bond, Parent Child, or Spit Fighters. A good amount of them. This Gohan's gonna be good, but I don't know if I'm gonna personally wanna run him. Because basically what he is, is turn 1 show up, turn 3 standby, get the standby, and pray to god you kill the enemy by then, because if not, this guy's a liability. I'm more fond of this bully. I'm way more fond of this bully. Don't get me wrong, this Gohan's good, but fucking 60% damage reduction, revival, support, 12 key massive multipliers. 12 key massive multipliers is so good. Oh my god. Well, normally I would say, well, now it's time for me to summon. But again, I haven't pulled a fucking tech bully yet. I got no one so far. So, yeah, I can't even summon on this guy if I want. Uh, okay, let's say I get tech bully. I'm probably gonna go on to the Super Saiyan Trio banner because they're just too good to pass up. And then I'm gonna do this bully. And then for some reason, if you get all three, I go to the Gohan banner. But bully, the, the tech, the new tech bully is my first priority. That's my number one priority. But that's that. If you liked what you just guys just saw, you know, you can like, comment, subscribe. I'll do all that good shit for me. Check out my other videos. I do a lot of party content on this channel. Just browse, see if there's anything that catches your attention. If it is, check it out. It doesn't hurt to just look. And until next time, I'm gonna go do something else.